All right, in this lesson, we're going to look at the charting function in capital IQ. Let's look at the S&P 500. And then we can add metrics to it. So we want to see the index value. And let's say we want to look at valuations. We want to look at price to earnings. So let's look at price to normalized EPS. There we go. So we can see here the turquoise line is the index value and the orange line is the PE ratio. So the PE ratio is shown on the right axis and the index value on the left axis. So we can see that it's currently trading at 37 times price to normalized EPS. This is in November 2020. And you can see the history here with it hitting the low during the midst of the COVID-19 lockdowns, uh, just below 20x. We can, of course, play with the chart to go back further. Let's say we want to see five years of history of index value and PE ratio. We've got that there. So this is a common type of chart you may want to build. Now let's uncheck that and let's do compare. Let's compare the S&P 500 with Amazon. Add. And now it becomes a relative share price chart. So it's looking at the percentage difference between the two in terms of their performance. So you can see that the S&P 500 over this time period has increased 57% whereas Amazon has increased nearly 400%. So a relative share price chart can be quite helpful for all sorts of presentations or analysis that you may do. So we've created this custom chart in Capital IQ. Now let's export it to Excel. All right, here we go. So here is the Excel download that we've done. And you can see it's created the chart for us with the underlying data. It's not just an image. We actually have the data. So we can then use this data to reformat the chart to match our company branding or, or whatever style guide we want to follow. And then we can take this and put it into presentations. So you can export, of course, a lot more data than just this. You could add all sorts of metrics to this, compare all sorts of companies. And then in Excel, you can create all sorts of different charts and graphs for your presentations. Now we're going to look at how you can use Capital IQ to manage your workflow. We're going to explore coverage and projects. Coverage simply means companies that you're trying to work with or are working with and relationships that you have. So let's go into coverage and we're going to create a coverage list. I'll just call this example and we're just making a test here. Okay, let's say we work in investment banking in the technology, media, and telecommunications group and we cover Apple. We're going to add Apple to our coverage list. Let's look for Samsung, Google. Facebook. Okay, let's imagine these are some, some companies that we cover. Oh, we didn't pick up Google there. That's actually Alphabet, right? So here we have our list. We need to add at least one person. So I'll add just myself for now. And now I've created this coverage list called example with all these companies. And so I can use this to easily track these businesses, their activity, and to manage some workflow for me. Now when I go into coverage tracking, I can add notes here. So strategy notes, relationship details, etc. And you can imagine that if there was a large team and a lot of companies to cover, it would be very helpful to have all this organized in here. Now let's go to projects and project management. Let's create a new project. We'll also call this example. So we can have the project name, the project status, 
groups. There's lots of information that you can add here to a project. And by filling in all of the info here for the project, and then using the search function, your entire organization can centrally store all this information. So you can see here a project example. It's the only project in the system. We can imagine if there were a lot of projects, I could search for them by name or by criteria and help manage some workflow here in Capital IQ. All right, in this lesson, we are going to look at portfolios and we're going to generate a sample portfolio to show you how this works. So here we are inside the example portfolio that Capital IQ has generated for us, where you could manually add positions and then get some interesting reporting where you can see sector allocation, geographic allocation, you can see the weighting of each security in the portfolio, etc. So you could create all sorts of custom portfolios there. And you could also use the reporting function, which is an advanced feature that you would have to unlock. But if you unlock this feature, you can look at all sorts of super advanced reporting for portfolios as well. So given that our focus in using Capital IQ is primarily for the FMVA, which is for financial modeling and valuation, we really focus on the areas covered previously, which are companies, research, markets, screening, charting, and a little bit of coverage or projects. But really screening being the most powerful tool of all for us in Capital IQ. And in coming lessons, we will look at the Excel plugin, another very powerful form of crunching research and analysis for financial analysts.